Sports Show. We're going to have a talk about women's soccer, so we thought we'd better get a couple of the superstars here that we've got in South Australia. So the coach of West Adelaide, Tracy Jenkins, joins us. Olivia Bramley joins us as well. Thanks for coming in, ladies. No worries. Appreciate no worries. your time. Maybe we start with you, Trace. Three years in the seat at Westies now. How's yes. the journey been for you? Um, good. Um, first year was kind of a, a building phase. Mm. Uh, last year we had success in winning the championship and the league and the cup, which was brilliant. And this year it's a, it's a development, so a rebuild phase. And we're just at the point where we're middle of the table and working to get into that final five uh, to hopefully win another championship. Where, where, where is your season at the minute? How many games? You, you say you're in the mix, but there's yeah. a few others are in the mix as well. That's right. So where, whereabouts are you in the season? How many games you've got to go? Is your draw OK? Yeah, no, the draw is good. Um, it's a fairly even competition, so I think we're about seven games out, and there's about four teams that are all on similar points. Okay, yeah. And um, it's, a it's a really good league, so mm. it's very, very even. Mm. So any team can beat any team in, that, in the competition, which makes it really which exciting. Which is what you want. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Did you lose one game last year? Lose uh, one we game. lost one game And had a draw. Game. That was yeah. it. And now we're in the development phase. So I looked up, Trace, before you come in, and you know how I look for, I look for these little quirks on coaches, Trace, and, uh, you know, see what they say. And there are a couple of interviews. That, you'll love this one, mate. So uh, they asked you the question on what are you looking for this year, and you said in your development. So tell me that this is not the best coaches line, how coaches play with the real straight back, mate. We're looking to uh, develop uh, the team as well as we can and develop a good culture, strong yeah. culture. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. There Have you is. heard that one before? No, yeah. that one. So yeah. any question you ask from now on to Tracy, she's going to give us the yeah. coach's <laughs> answer, mate. So everything's going yeah. great. We're really good at it. terrific. Uh, game by game. Yeah. 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 That's true. That's true. Let's have a quick chat with you, Olivia. So uh, over from England. Yeah. Um, so you went through the academies in England. For the viewers, tell us a little bit about academy life, playing soccer. Mm. In England? Um, well, obviously in the UK it's like the primary sport, so there's not like kind of footy and soccer, it's just kind of soccer solely. So um, the setups are really good, um, kind of lots of provision and resources around that. So um, trying to get more of the academy style full time now as well, since I was there. Like I was a fair few years now since I was in that program. Um, but yeah, just kind of following kind of um, the elite style pathways and yeah, continuous training. Um, lots of technical development, I think, when you go into academy. So I came from local football, local soccer, sorry, where it's slightly different, whereas you go into the academies and they're really trying to develop like the skill level, the technical abilities, and that's just like taken off in the past like five years as well. So yeah. the the academy at Leicester yeah. to Australia yeah. is a big journey. It's yeah. a long journey. <laughs> How does that happen? How does how does it how do we get you here? Yeah, so I um, I was studying doing my undergrad in the UK. So after academies, went to senior football in the UK. Um, played at university as well. So I was playing university and outside for club football. Um, and then had a little period in Victoria where I um, was working. So I worked at the Western Bulldogs. Um, did that for like an internship type thing. Came and was like, ah, oh, I love it in Australia. Like how good. Um, went back home, finished my degree, and yeah, just wanted to travel back across and came to South Australia. Um, lots of football, soccer opportunity here as well. Um, so really wanted to try and like dig into that um, and kind of yeah, I mean just I guess at the building that journey for myself. Um, and yeah, just came, loved the culture. Um, yeah. It's good. So Trace, you recruit a centre half back. How, how do you see <coughs> Olivia fitting into your team? Uh, Liv's bought so much this year, uh, especially with her leadership, um, and she's such a, um, a, a sets such high standards for herself, and that drives the whole group. Yes, and she actually does. is the kind of player that will have um, challenging conversations with the player group. So you know, it's all about you know setting those that setting that bar high, and she brings that. She brings that uh, energy to the team, and there's so much respect for her. And our results are changing because of the influence that she has in the group. I read yours too, Olive, how you uh, place high demands on yourself and mm. demand the best of those around you. So we, we often talk to leaders, and there's a big leadership thing, isn't there? Trace, when you're a coach, you want leaders. And the question's always being asked, are, are you a natural leader? Did you develop to become a leader? Mm. You're kind of in that. Do you, do you reckon there's a part of you that wants to lead, but did that happen naturally for you, or did you develop that to be a good leader? Good question. Um, I think it's probably a bit of both. Like, I think... I've always been like a lead by example, perhaps. So I think that was a natural thing that came. Like I said, I will always 
demonstrate the standard myself that I expect. So like hard work, like I'm always doing the extras, but I'm also doing the fundamentals as best as I can. So I think from that, like more role model perspective, perhaps leadership. And then as I've kind of got older yeah. and tried to like have a voice with that a little bit, like I'm probably becoming now that I'm practicing that a bit more and it's like iron it, iron it out. Like mm. what leader do I want to be? How do I communicate? So you know, as like a female athlete, you try and position yourself somewhere. Um, and I think a part of that is, yeah, deciding kind of what your leadership style is, who you connect with. Like, you know, Trace spoke about respect from the players, but obviously yourself, you ne you're never sure. So like you want to kind of develop those yeah. skills as well. So definitely a bit of both. So yeah. a lot of this would have come out of the academies though, because it, it, I mean, it's a religion virtually, isn't it? Mm. In, in England, your, your football. So a lot of this leadership stuff and all that would have come out of the academy, no, no doubts at all, because there'd be a lot of pressure on you as an academy player mm. uh, in England. Yeah, I guess so. I think, I don't know, I was going to, I'd probably oppose that in terms of, I think it came from my local mm. club. I think when, how you play in England, like, I just think, look back to when I was probably a bit younger, before the academies, and I was the one that like treated like my Sunday league football as if it was, you know, the World Cup final. Like yes, we're in yes. a cup final at the age of, I don't know, I was 13, 14, and that's my life. Like that is what how I perceived that. Yeah. Um, and then obviously going into the academy is that's more of an opportunity where you're probably a bit more selfish, to be honest. Like you it is about you developing as an individual. There's less team dynamics involved exactly. within that. Mm. Um, going to university, different environment completely, very mm. more culture driven um, less about perhaps the football so much mm. and then I think coming here um, and leaving like where I'm from that was about yeah who do I want to be as a footballer um, yeah. and how I see myself and um, yeah I think coming into West Adelaide like lots of like room to develop and kind of embrace who you are as a footballer and have yeah. that freedom to Are be you there. a Leicester fan? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, no. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, it doesn't Sorry, matter. But um, who do you support? Yeah, so I'm actually, oh, I want to say Manchester United fan, but I just had this chat earlier. Mm, it's more it. of a Sir Alex Ferguson fan. I'm not sure it's like Manchester United itself, more more the Fergie era. So. Oh, it's disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Put a line through your name. I was hoping yeah. it was going to be the Matildas, but that's okay. Hey. Villa. Well, yeah. <laughs> World Cup, about 20 days away, yeah. Just, yeah. just over 20 days. Um, the Matildas obviously in the race. I was just reading an article this morning coming in that Canada still haven't sought. So gold medalists at Tokyo Olympics, they're, they're in our pool. They're probably our biggest, you know, we get past them, we're a really good chance to win it. They're having a pay dispute on, on their short-term contracts. Do you know much about that? Trent? No, I actually don't. I mean, I've, I heard about it this morning, but, a, again, very interesting, isn't it, that in this day and age we're, yep. we're still fighting f for that mm. kind of, um, um, you know, for, for that to be recognised, not just as recognised as good players, but also to be paid um, with equity. Um, you know, the commitment is the same. Yep. You know, these, these players, all these players, no matter where they come from, work really, really hard and have made sacrifices, as all players do in sport. Yeah, we'll you know, And I think, you know, the, um, the, the, the fact that now that we're on the world stage, these women are athletes. They are absolute athletes and it is entertaining. You know, we had 6,000 people go across the Sydney Harbour Bridge the other day to support the Women's, uh, the women's World Cup. And uh, for these women to, at this point, be in a fight shows how courageous they are mm. because they are focused on the game. And, yeah, they want to know. get here. It looks like that, that. I mean, the media have built up the storm a bit saying that they might not get on the plane. Yeah. They'll clearly do that. Yeah. But it'd be, I agree with you. It'd be nice if we go, well, we should just reward for what you've accomplished and let's yeah. get on with it. But yeah. we'd like it to be a little bit that way because they're in our pools. Yeah. 32 countries time, though, coming to Australia. Yeah. Not, not a good time to be having a no, good time. Pick. good time for us to be having it. Yeah, exactly. The right. They're yeah, happy exactly. that they'd like it to drag right into the tournament, but it's poor. Yeah. by the Canadian side of things. The Matildas, how, how do you think they're going to fare at home? Oh, of course they're going to do well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Can we you say how well? Yeah. I mean, we, yeah. I know it's hard they're to They're going to be competitive, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, it, it, you know, it's the World Cup. that They've got the history for it. They've got, they're very competitive. We've got some fantastic players playing exactly in international right. competitions now. Exactly. So, yeah, we're, they're in with a big chance for and sure. And we're a good side. That, oh, that, we're that's a great the thing size. that, you know, we're, we're now recognised on the world stage as a good team. Well, we have the yeah. best player. We do have the best player well, in the world. We've got the best player in the world as, uh, as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. And there was a, there'd be a couple of others in our team that aren't too far behind yep. that don't get probably as much 
the fan fair as uh, Sam Kerr, but gee, we got some good players. I watched them yeah. uh, demolish someone the other, the other night just for, just for practice. So they're a good side. They're, oh, they're a great I'm looking side. forward to it. I really am. Yeah, I think they're they'll organised. Well. Uh, they're well structured, mm. and uh, yeah, watch, watch, watch this space. Well, watch this space. Very we'll very be well. in. We'll hopefully, we'll get you in a couple of times while it's going on, <laughs> Trace, to get your update. Who will you be following? I don't want you to think that your visa depends on this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is this a frequent? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, the Lioness is. Um, Good visa yeah. cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did buy. I did buy Matilda's shirt as well. Oh, okay, um, all right. But yeah, for the back of the Euros, yeah. the Lioness has got it. Going to be pretty good. Hey, good appreciate luck, your guys. time. No, good luck. Good luck. Catch up with you. Good luck with West Adelaide yeah. uh, in, in a yeah. race to get into the finals. Yeah. Uh, West Adelaide Soccer Club. The women are doing some terrific things. Stay with us. Still, a bit more to come.